Hey, Barbara here with Cycling Strong 2013 Interbike. We're having an absolute blast. We walked by today and found an amazing new product that just hit the market and we wanted to bring it to you first. So, check this out. FSA has built a brake system with disc brakes and we're going to have, remind me of your first Joel day. Richardson. We're going to have Joe walk us through this product and tell us all about it. Joe, take it away. Right on. So yeah, this is a hydraulic disc brake systems from FSA, uh, known for controls, things like handlebars, stems, headsets, carbon cranks, seat posts, all control items. We're expanding on that control in the cockpit with a control item, brakes, specifically disc brakes. The hydraulic disc brake is new for FSA. We're launching two platforms. The top of the heap is the K-Force. It falls in line with all the carbon K-Force components that already exist. But what we're looking at here is an ultra lightweight, fully featured uh, race brake. So it's got your tool free stroke adjustment to change oh, how so far nice. your level throw is. We got the tool free reach adjustment to set your lever home position. Small hands, big hands, running the bar, a brake close to the bar. We're shooting this body out of magnesium, which makes it extremely lightweight as opposed to say an aluminum body. And of course, you gotta have the carbon fiber lever blade, the contact point. It's nice, it keeps your fingers warm when it's cold, right? Going down to the caliper end, we've got a one-piece forged monoblock caliper. Lightweight again, big arch back here for stiffness to control the thing. Inside, we've got aluminum-backed plates with a semi-met pad. The aluminum backing plates save you about 12 grams. Doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're chasing grams, it's a big deal. And doing all the business end of the stopping is the two-piece rotor here. We'll be offering the rotors in all the sizes, 140, 160, 180, but this has enough forged aluminum center section, gives you a nice lightweight, stiff center, but then a stainless steel outer rub ring to take care of all the heat management. So let me just ask you a really quick question. Um, I race Leadville, do lots of endurance type of stuff. On my Leadville bike, the one thing I hate the most I'm not going to get into what I'm using on there for brakes, <laughs> but I do have smaller hands and I cannot get this to adjust. So how far back can you, oh man, that is awesome. Look yeah. at that, you guys. I mean, that has got everything I've been dreaming of right there to be able to get that back yep. where I can actually use it with my hands and the functionality, that's awesome. So yep. very, very cool. Nice. It's a, it's a real balancing act when you have the stroke adjustment yeah. and the reach. There's a minimum requirement for decel. You don't want this thing yeah. hitting the grip and, yeah. and not getting enough decel power. That's so right. you have to balance, but we know people like, and it's not just people with small hands. A lot yeah. of people like to ride, you know, one finger, two finger, yeah. but they like it tucked up close to the grip. Absolutely. And they just want to pull it just a slight amount. And that's where the stroke adjust comes in. You can shorten the amount of throw, pull it in nice and tight, and your movement is literally just a short stroke for so your you, decel. You can use this one on a mountain bike or a cyclocross bike? This is specifically for mountain bike brakes. Okay. Yep. But just for mountain bike, awesome. So this looks like the new setup I need to get right now for Leadville next year. Yep. To be able to have a lot better brake control. 305 cool. grams too, it's not gonna weight your bike down much at all. We all know we need to wash the grams. All right, next right product. Following up on this, this is the trail application. So basically we just went, went from the ultralight XC race now we're going to something a little more durable that you're gonna throw a little more heat and descending into. The same fully featured brake that we just talked about. However, now instead of magnesium, we're using up aluminum up here for durability. We've taken the carbon lever off and we've put a forged heavy duty aluminum blade on here. Down at the caliper end, again, we're using the same stiff, powerful caliper, but now we've changed the rotor and we've added a lot of thermal mass or material. The number one area you can address heat issues when you're descending with disc brakes is the rotor. That's where you can absorb the heat with the material and the mass, and you can shed the heat faster. As opposed to a cross-country system, where you wanna get as much material as you can get out of here, just enough to have a contact surface and still shed a little bit of heat, but lightweight. So again, the afterburner, cross-country race, coming in at 305 grams with a 160 millimeter rotor. Afterburner platform, trail brake, 345 grams, still really light, but able to handle the heat. This guy's MSRP is 369, available in Q1 of 2014, so January, February timeframe. Same availability, but 289 a wheel. Awesome. 
FSA does a great job on all their stuff. I know that uh, their products got to be amazing out there. These guys cut no corners. If you've used their products, you know that. So uh, stay tuned for more Interbike 2013 interviews. And thank you so much for taking the time out today. No problem. And showing us this new amazing product. Thanks for Appreciate coming in. Time.